eight and nine on the year, but got a big win. So I think that win Friday night brought his record back up to 500 at five and five or nine and nine. And a win where he came back in the third period and, and just absolutely gassed his opponent. We talked about it last week. McKee has been, as of recently, putting up a lot of points in the first period. Yep. Really getting after it early. And Ooh. Kyle Lewis goes headlock. It wasn't there. And there we go. 4 0. Yeah, Mitch saw it, gates. felt it, yep. able to take Lewis to his back. Get four points on that takedown, two near fall. Nice reversal. Yeah, good Luke's, switch back into him. He's just kind of elevator lifted that leg and then just kind of I'm not sure through. how he hasn't gotten the reversal yet. Mitch is still riding, but I, it doesn't feel like it. And the ref never, never gave the reversal, and Mitch is still getting riding time this entire time. And, and now he's in a little better shape of where right. you wouldn't expect Luis to, to, to have, yeah, exactly, to have the reversal, but. I feel like it was there before. It was there just before. Just not, did not get it. Criteria-wise, you would expect that. Stalemate's going to get called. I wouldn't be surprised. They got, they're holding the yeah, challenge block. the brick. Let's see what kind of arm. sit back nope. down. He's going to put that Coach one in the Dixon. pocket. Yep. That was one I think we kind of got away with there. You know, Mitch McKee got away with, with the not getting a reversal call. That's right. Another. Luig's putting him in trouble again. He's good from that bottom position. Yes, he is. And now this should this be This one's good. Yep, there you go. Now he's got Mitch's leg in a real tough spot here into a Turk position. It looked like that referee's kind of right on the cusp of he's almost going to call this potentially dangerous if it goes any further. Yep. Luig's lets go, maintains control, and he's in good shape. Got the, le got the arm Turk in there. He's really got Mitch's legs all tied up back there. There's not much Mitch has been able to do from this bottom position. I'm not sure what he's trying, but I like it. It just looks like he's really wrenching on it. Yeah. You know? Like if I, if I'm thinking I'm Makita, I'm not in a. This isn't pleasant. What's no. going on? Hey, Kyle Lewis is right riding now. hard. Yeah, he is. Mitch trying to score a reversal right at the end of this period, but he's got to break legs this. Gets back. There it is. That should be one. Should at least one. Yep. And a two at the buzzer. No take. So this will go Nick. to. Refs are going to meet. Yep. It was at least the one, and we're saying maybe a takedown, and they're going to. They're going to say one escape and two takedown, no back points. Mm -hmm. And again, Escobedo's holding that challenge block, and he's at least going to go over the and have a conference. Block. Didn't want to have it in his hand when he walked yeah. to the table in case he, you know. It, from what I could hear, hear of the buzzer, and you know, it's a little hard holding with these right. headphones on, but I, I think that it definitely was a takedown before the buzzer went off. It was pretty clean. Yep. He got through right away. There was no, there was no scooting out by no. Luigs. It was it was dead to rights. Would have been near fall had time not expired. Right. And uh, I think referees made the right call there. So a 7-2 lead for Mitch McKee heading into the second, but two seconds of riding time for Kyle Luigs. Let's see, see if that switch again. Yep, yep. Elevate. He's he's got the he's got the toolbox from the bottom position. Uh -huh. Blue Gramby. Mitch now has got that near side wrist trapped in. And he's, he's, that's his tilt. You know, uh -huh. he's going to get that cross wrist trapped and then head in the hole, and that's, that's where he likes to be if he can. But he's got the bar right now. Luke's trying to sit out of this, and he's going to come out for a reversal. <laughs> this guy is, he's fun to watch. Well, it's fun because he, he's not 
afraid to put himself in a slightly dangerous position in order to gain the advantage from the bottom position. That, you, I remember Dylan Ness yeah. was terrific. It, it looked like, like oh, to go to he's, he's going to his back, and all of a sudden the other guy's on his back. And that's what Luig, he looks like he's got a little bit of that in him where he's, he's not afraid to sort of put himself in trouble to, to be able to get his hips up and come up on top. That was a really beautiful reversal. Yeah. He's running a mean head lever right now on Mitch. Just kind of feels like he does stuff from the top position that just hurts. Yeah. You know, it's just all these rides have just been like, oh, God, it's, it's not pleasant. Well, he's got pointy elbows and knees, you know, <laughs> one of those guys where it's just like every time, yeah, yeah, ouch. Yeah, yeah. Hips, you yeah. got to have pointy hips yeah. too, which doesn't seem possible. But just kind of grind those things there, into yeah. little sharp knobs. <laughs> Mitch trying to reach back. And he's good here. Luigi's he likes, coming, he, yeah. likes a, he likes a hip to hip position, but it seems like Luigi's does too. Yeah, Luigi's wants to come here and go out front. Stalemate's going to get called. 19 seconds to go. Seven to four lead. For Mitch McKee with 21 seconds of riding time for Kyle Luigs. Mitch is almost away. He's got to break that hand. Yep, no, so he cleared one hand off of his, his no, back there to get it. Another escape He's try right and at the finish end of it. the period. And this is a scrambled eggs. Time's going to run out. 8-4 lead for Mitch McKee heading into the third period. Mitch is going to start on bottom again. 30 seconds of riding time now for Luix. We haven't seen him go boots yet. Yeah, no. He got those two legs in pretty easy. Another ride, though, that it can just wear you out. And Mitch is uh, able to get one foot. He's trying to throw that arm, that leg across, and he's not going to get there. He's stretched out now. Working a pretty punishing ride again. You know, he's doing whole, great whole on time. time. He's been a pretty good hammer up there. And Mitch not typically a guy. Get called, yeah. Mitch not typically a guy that gets ridden. No. I mean, he's, he, he, is, he works from the bottom position, but Luigi's is just kind of at every, every possible avenue, sort of felt it and stopped it and ridden hard. Luigi's up to 124 a riding time now, so he could get a riding time point at the end of this one. Back to that head lever. We have 40 seconds left in this match. And Luigs needs a needs near fall here if he's going to win this one. He's going to get riding time, so it's going to be eight to five. With the four-point near fall, he, he can still win this. Uh, first warning for stalling on Mitch McKee in the bottom position. Time's gonna end, but man, that was uh, yeah, that was close. Mitch kind of gets up holding his shoulder a little bit. Kyle Luigs just uh, again seven minutes 